Good afternoon. Thank you for watching this pre-recorded presentation looking at whether the Compass Surgical Risk Prediction Score is a safe adjunct to cardiopulmonary exercise testing. These cardiopulmonary exercise tests are an established perioperative risk prediction score of intra- and post-operative complications and death that are calculated via cardiopulmonary observations while performing controlled exercise tests. They are expensive and require intensive specialist involvement. COMPASS is an algorithmic score evolved from the POSSUM score that assesses the same outcomes via standardised pre-assessment parameters. It is inexpensive and requires no specialist involvement. This retrospective cohort study included all patients who attended CPEC clinics for a proposed elective orthopaedic surgery at Torbay Hospital in 2015 and 2016. It excluded any patients who did not undergo surgery from all analyses and excluded any patients who did not complete either an exercise or clinical CPET assessment from certain sub-analyses. The study analysed the threshold of minimum risk for negative prediction, the overall and low risk correlations between the scores, the calibration and discrimination of overall prediction via hosmer lemerschau an area under the curve C indexes, and then went on to make observational assessments of risk prediction in those patients who died and those who experienced complications. A conservative minimum risk was defined as a negative predictive ratio of 1. All 120 patients at a compass mortality prediction of less than 1.5% were alive at one year, achieving this threshold. Comparison between the compass to CPEC correlation coefficients for both this subgroup and the total population show COMPASS to be a safe alternative for low-risk patients. The difference between those correlation coefficients was further analysed through assessments of non-inferiority. COMPASS was found to have significant but inferior calibration to CPET through hosmer lemerschau scores of 0.03 to 0.71 respectively. Calibration was expected to be poor, due to the relatively small sample size of patients with higher predicted risk. As such, CPET's relative numerical superiority is shown to be an overall weakness, as it can be explained by six deaths that it did not include from the 54 patients who could not have a predicted risk generated by CPET assessment. COMPASS was shown to have significant but marginally inferior discrimination to CPET. The area under the curve C indexes of 0.78 and 0.89 are both very high, showing both scores discriminate well between levels of risk. CPET's marginal superiority must be considered against the previously mentioned missing deaths of patients where no score was generated. Of the nine patients who died, we observed that only two of these completed CPET exercise testing, illustrating that good compliance with the gold standard is difficult to achieve in the highest risk patients, that three completed a clinical CPET test which could have been replaced by a lower burden compass score, and that eight of the nine patients who died had a higher predicted mortality risk with compass than CPET, highlighting compass's non-inferiority in groups where compliance with CPET is low. We concluded that compass was a safe replacement for CPET where the mortality risk was less than 1.5%, and observed that if this were the cutoff for CPET referral, there would have been a 46% reduction in burden on these clinics, and that COMPASS is not inferior to CPET at positive prediction across all levels of risk, but that paired regression analysis is required to show the margin of non-inferiority. Thank you very much.